Okay, I'm doing a uh, gastric dilation volvulus. I think I'm saying that correctly. Volvulus. Volvulus. Yes, GDV in dogs. And so what is GDV? It is also commonly called gastric or stomach torsion. And it's when the stomach twists, shutting off the esophageal um, and, and I believe intestinal entrances as well. Mm -hmm. And um, it's also, so they don't really know exactly what causes the stomach to twist, but bloat is, off, is often a precursor to GDV. Um, and that's when the stomach fills with gas. Um, and it's very prevalent in deep chested dogs. They think that is because um, the deep chests allow more room for the bloated stomach to twist. Um, it just um, there's more room for it to move about and uh, displace the organs. Um, so this, these are pictures, schematics. Um, so this is the normal position of the stomach. And um, you can see here that the stomach has bloated a bit and it causes the twisting. In this diagram, it twists uh, clockwise or to the right. And then um, this is a, a stomach with GDB, and you can see that um, the esophageal entrance is twisted. And um, this is just another schematic of it in like an actual, like an actual depiction of a dog. Looks like it could be a Great Dane, which are mm -hmm. pretty common. Yeah. yeah. And again, causes, um, like I said, it's still kind of like a mystery. Um, they don't really know what causes it to twist, but bloat is definitely a precursor. Um, and so they relate causes of GDV to causes of bloat, which um, some common ones are anxiety and diet. So anxiety in a dog is, kind of, it looks, what, causes, what could cause bloat would be um, excessive panting and um, swall basically swallowing more air and it's called uh, aerophagia, which literally means eating air. Um, so kind of like humans, when you, you breathe more when you're anxious, dogs do that as well. So if a dog is kenneled for an extremely long time or it's in a, dis a stressful environment, it can you know, cause it to breathe more and kind of you know, get more air intake. And then diet. Um, if you switch to a food or a dog like eats table scraps or something like that, that um, is more fermentable, <coughs> it can um, cause the stomach to not be able to keep up with, um, kind of keeping up with um, like expelling that gas. Um, so like my dog, I had a black lab when I was little who got torsion and um, we think it's because our neighbors would throw their like leftovers from dinner in the woods adjacent to our house. And every time we let her out, she would run over there and just gobble all that food up, which obviously isn't good for her. And the, the veterinarian said that that you know, could be a big cause because she was eating food that um, isn't obviously dog food and wasn't good for her and just kind of. Because it was all the scraps, the leftovers. Mm -hmm. and yeah. Not the regular meal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And low in itself is a serious condition. Like you need to, you know, talk to a doctor, take her to a, take them dogs to a vet. But torsion is an emergency. It can actually, um, it causes um, the blood flow to stop in, to the stomach, basically, and that can lead to stomach wall necrosis. So um, it's a very serious condition. Um, kind of I think in the next yeah so diagnosis um, you basically you need to know your dog um, if they're <coughs> drooling an excessive amount or if you notice a swollen abdomen like you can see here um, and your dog is kind of painful in the abdomen or laying down more isn't moving much um, you need to take it to a vet just because it is such a serious condition if you don't get it treated, don't get it checked out. Um, Can lead to death yeah. rapidly if, mm -hmm. if it's a bad case. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> and 
And here is just kind of an x-ray of the stomach um, with GDV. Um, you can see here that uh, the stomach is really distended with gas, as the picture says. And then um, if you're ever looking at an x-ray of a stomach with torsion, um, all of the pictures that I found online kind of had, they're calling it a shelf sign. You, it kind of like is a V look. Um, it's just kind of a telltale sign of a stomach with torsion, and it's a sign that the stomach has twisted. So treatment, it varies by the severity of the case. Um, obviously, because it can cut off uh, blood supply to the stomach wall, uh, you want to get it treated and diagnosed as quick as possible. So if you um, notice um, any of the symptoms, like a distended uh, abdomen or um, drilling, um, then definitely at least call the doctor and see if you, know, you need to come in. Um, so most cases um, require surgery. That's what uh, my black lab had to have. And, but first your vet may try to pass a tube down uh, the esophageal entrance, the esophagus. And um, kind of that, what that does is it kind of helps release the gas built up in the stomach <coughs> and it would come up through the tube. Or they also might try puncturing the abdomen wall and going in with a catheter and going in uh, to the stomach to kind of release that pressure and that gas as well. Um, and sometimes whenever a veterinarian will go in um, surgically in order to prevent it from happening again because dogs who have this happen once are more likely to have it happen again, um, they will reposition the stomach and attach, and attach it to the inner abdomen uh, just kind of to prevent it from twisting over again um, because it is so much more prevalent in dogs that have had it happen to them in the past. Um, my dog got it once and we had her treated for it and then she got it again and we had to put her down because um, the How far apart said, were the two episodes? They were within a year, okay. I think a few months. Um, and she was an older dog as well, but um, she, the doctors definitely said that, you know, she would probably more than likely keep getting it. And at that point, it's a question of quality of life. Um, I don't know if any of you have seen the movie Marley and Me, I'm assuming. Oh, just just asked me about. Yeah. <laughs> now, did Marley, I haven't seen it. I've got to. That's crazy that I have Don't watch it. Don't watch it. It's terrible I have to. I feel bad. Don't make us watch it. I will. So that way I can watch it. No. 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 Spoiler, this, like, this is what happened to Marley. Um, actually, what happened to Marley was exactly what happened to my lab. And we actually, I went to go see Marley and me on Christmas night, like a couple weeks after we had to put my, dis it came out on Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It did. So um, I went to go see it a few weeks after we had to put my dog down, oh, no. oh. sobbing. I sobbed the yeah. entire time, even That's after. A, if you need a Kleenex, it's right there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, blame you. I made a scene. It was it was very sad. Uh, I believe that. Is oh all wow! I have. Perfect timing. So, okay. Does anyone have questions? Is it how many people have had this happen yeah. to their dogs? How many have experienced bloat firsthand? Okay, one. Not not with the uh, crawfish, though, right? <laughs> two, two of you? I, I haven't ever, three, I guess, but I had a friend that had a mastiff. And remember how your one of your slides was anxiety? Mm -hmm. This mastiff, and some of the reading you do will say nervous-type dogs tend to have it more. So a mastiff is a big chest, mm -hmm. and that dog was always nervous. You know how much of a dog lover I am? It was a friend of ours. Every time I went over, it was nervous to come up to any stranger, and it took like at least an hour before it came up to me. So it was kind of fit the, uh, you know, the textbook. It was a nervous type dog, mm -hmm. and then it got bloat. One time I wasn't there; they were having a picnic, and it died. Because I don't oh, think wow. anybody knew what was happening. Yeah, it's very fast. We had one in the clinic that the guy waited. The dog was trying to vomit, like he said, and nothing was coming up. And he finally called us. And we're like, "Yeah, you need to come in." Literally, yeah. as he was walking in the door, the dog killed over dead. Yeah, and that's what happened at this picnic. The dog, 
had eaten some, a lot of food, and it came in front of somebody, laid down, and then died right at their feet. That fast. Just like she was saying. Let's give everybody a round of applause.